pools, giant swimming pools, the biggest palm trees you've ever seen in your life, and of course, classic desert scenery. Where else could we be but Palm Springs, USA? I'm Jefferson Graham. I'm a lifelong photographer, writer, and video maker. I am your guide for today's photo walk in Palm Springs, where we are going to meet up with a local photographer, Brianna Broyles. She knows Palm Springs, and she's going to show us some of her favorite photo spots. And then together, we'll discover some new ones as well. And we're going to meet some locals who are going to tell us all about Palm Springs. Would you describe Palm Springs as someone who's never been here before? Hot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's nice. It's a nice getaway. It's a lot slower than L.A. You're from L.A., so you know what it's like. As you can see, the traffic's not as bad. It's a little low-key. People like to come here and just kind of get away from the chaos. And photographically? I would focus on architecture. I would focus on the landscape. People love the desert landscape. There's nothing like these mountains anywhere in the world. And amazingly, they look very stark right now, but in the morning, you get the light that's cast and you see purples and browns and just beautiful colors and shadows. Um, also, just the architecture itself. People take a lot of photos of the buildings and the homes because they don't see them anywhere else. As always, you don't need to run out and buy a bunch of fancy camera gear to join us on today's photo walk. I love my Sony camera. I'll be taking a bunch of pictures on this, but most of the time I'll be shooting on the same camera that I believe you all have, which is the smartphone because the best camera is the one that's in our pocket. Are you ready to explore? Let's go. What we know of as Palm Springs is huge and actually covers nine desert cities, including Palm Springs, Palm Desert, and La Quinta. The popular Joshua Tree National Park is a short one hour drive away. The focus on our photo walk is Palm Springs itself, as we love the downtown, the movie colony and tennis club area, and Indian Canyons neighborhoods for their classic examples of mid-century lifestyle. This area is a trip through time. We'll begin the photo walk on Palm Canyon Drive at the old library, which now doubles as a tourist office for our maps and brochures. We'll check out the shops and walk over to the art museum, home to that new 26-foot Marilyn Monroe statue. There's some great art inside, and there's also an entrance to a hike that will show you a great overlook of the area. We'll walk around the neighborhoods for the mid-century vibe and all those great pools. Now speaking of pools, we're headed over to one of the best in town at the Ace Hotel where we're going to meet my friend, the photographer Brianna Broyles. She'll be showing us some of her favorite spots. Brianna knows the area inside and out and she regularly blogs about her favorite desert highlights so she's really on top of things. After we say goodbye to Brianna, I will take you to the best hidden gem for windmill shots, where to get a great time-lapse video of the valley, and then we'll cap it off with a red jeep tour of the desert and the San Andreas Fault. But first, let's go say hi to Brianna. Well, hey, Brianna. Hi, good morning. Hi. Thanks for having us to Palm Springs. Thanks. To the Ace Hotel. I'm glad you're here. I'm excited to show you around. This is one of your favorite photo spots right here, right? Yep, I love it. I think the bureau is super fun, very eclectic, and part of Palm Springs. Come on, Brianna, show me the way. Perfect. If you were my bride, where would you be standing right now for the photo? If I was the bride? Yeah. Um, Probably right here to get kind of this. Okay. Well, um, let me get a shot of you. <laughs> Ready? I'm the bride. This is a change in Okay, scenery. so I got palm. I think the trick on the palm trees is you don't want to have half a tree. Exactly. Right? So I tend to shoot vertical a lot, uh -huh. and that's why I also go wide, so that way you can get everything. Got you with my camera. Look, yeah, there it is. all right. <laughs> so this is one of the two overhead decks. Yes. It's hard to find a view like this in Palm Springs. Right. And we're only a little bit up, but I think getting the mountains and the palm trees um, and a little bit of the retro vibe is like the ultimate view in Palm Springs. It's a drone shot without the accessory. Exactly. Right. It makes it easy for everybody with your phone to just snap a picture up here and have some fun. So now we've come to one of your favorite neighborhoods, classic Palm Springs. Yep. 
This is Indian Canyon Neighborhoods. It's the quintessential spot to get um, the perfect view of some mid-century homes. Obviously, you get the palm trees and you just get that iconic uh, shot that you want here in the desert. Describe the homes. The homes are all top-notch. I'm dreaming of having my own one day, but very classic and mid-century style. You'll see uh, a lot of clean lines, clean architecture, um, fun terrain with cactus and that kind of stuff. An Instagram alert. Look at those colorful doors. This is the ultimate Palm Springs door. This is the Palm Springs house. If you looked up Palm Springs on Instagram, this is what you're going to see. Yep. This right? pink door is what everybody wants and this is where you get it. No photography, no photography. Yep. You got to be a little careful, so stay on the street, but it's definitely uh, this is what you want to see right here. Okay. How did it become so popular? Um, you know, I don't know exactly how it started, but it just took off on Instagram. I want to say it went viral. I started seeing posts about it and everybody taking pictures here. So it kind of just became the spot until other people realized that there was more colorful doors. But pink isn't as common as uh, maybe yellow or orange. So people like to come and get that pink okay, shot. Okay, let me get a pink shot of you. Okay. And hope that nobody comes out and screams. We'll hide, we'll run. <laughs> Okay, you're the guru. I'm the father of the groom. Okay, I'm going to have you uh, stand here in the middle of the street. Yes. Okay, you're going to walk towards me. You're going to put a little hand in your pocket. Just one hand, I want the other one out. And you're just going to give me some swagger. Okay. You're just going to walk towards me. You're going to look at the cool door over there. You're going to look at the palm trees. And then I'll tell you when to give me a smile. Okay. Okay, ready? And you got all this, Sean, right? Oh, yeah. You're gonna walk towards me. All right, here we come. Swagger, huh? Yes, a little smile. Look at you on the camera, Jeff. Living your best life. What is your favorite time of the year in Palm Springs? Ooh. My favorite time of the year is probably maybe December, November, or December. Uh, cool enough to wear a little bit of a sweater, but you're not freezing cold, like maybe later in January. Um, so it's perfect if you want to just pop the windows down. So this is Indian Canyon. Gosh, must be like a 10 minute drive from Palm Springs. Yep, it's the perfect spot to just kind of get outside of the city. Um, but and it's not far, you just drive up the road and you can hang out and hike here in the mornings. This trail will take us to your favorite palm tree shot. Yes, I okay. like to go back there, be submerged in the palm trees and uh, just not see the sky, just the palms. Brianna, thanks so much for showing us your Palm Springs. I've been coming here for years, but I saw a lot of things I've never seen before. It was a lot of fun. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. There's some fun spots out here. I can't wait to go back to the historic district and shoot some more doors, even if they try to kick me out. Yep. Have fun with it and just get adventurous. Now, you're going to go back to work now. We're going to continue exploring some of Palm Springs, but tell everybody how to see your work online. Uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram at Brianna Broyles Photo or on my website at briannabroyles.com. Lots of stuff all over. Uh, check it out. And if you need some photos while you're out here, let me know. And you've got one of the great emails. Hello. Yes. Hello at briannabroyles.com. Pretty cool. Thanks. All right. Thanks again. Thanks. Have a good one. Brianna had to head to work. We didn't. So we spent a little bit more time exploring Indian canyons. abandoned house on the side of the road, how could you not pull over to check it out from all sides? From Indian Canyons, it was back to downtown Palm Springs for a little shopping and some lunch. 
Downtown Palm Springs has a bunch of cute stores selling everything from postcards and knickknacks to clothing, Hollywood memorabilia. There's a lot of fun stuff. Maybe not your photo opportunities in downtown, but fun place to visit and great places to eat. Retail highlights include the stores that sell memorabilia and celebrate Palm Springs like Just Fabulous. For food, there are many, many great Mexican restaurants, and for nostalgia and history, you can't beat Sherman's Deli, a few blocks up on Keats Canyon, which has been frequented by everyone from Neil Diamond and Carol Channing to Barry Manilow and Adam West, the star of the old Batman TV series. I mean, when's the last time you went out to eat and saw actors' glossies hanging on the wall? Pretty cool, right? We have a connection to Hollywood, uh, and the rich and famous have been coming here since the 20s. And Palm Springs won't let you forget it either. For instance, <clears throat> that 26-foot statue in front of the art museum. Sometimes we try to move past that Hollywood celebrity, but I don't think we ever will get to. Celebrities love this place. I mean, it was the place they could come to, you know. If, if you know of the rule that they had, the two-hour rule, where Hollywood studios would require people to be you know, two hours away from the studio should they have to go back and shoot. And I think that's what became, it, made it popular. And then after that, people realized, oh, we can come here and relax, not be bothered, enjoy the sunshine, be with our friends. And I think to this day, that still happens. You can see tours of some of the great old estates, or you could catch a glimpse on a hike or drive by. Many of the stars and the people who worked in films lived in what's called the movie colony, an umbrella term for mid-century classic ranch-style home or lodge set around a swimming pool. Many of the older hotels in the neighborhood are great examples of this, including the Desert Hills, Casa Cody, Del Marco, and the Orbit Inn. There are often tours of the homes and motels like Brianna showed us in Indian Canyons during what's called Modernism Week, where the architectural style is celebrated and preservation is encouraged. You can even take selfies of yourself in front of homes with colorful doors without having to worry about the owners coming out to yell at you. Time-lapse videos shot in the desert are lots of fun as we watch the day turn to night. My favorite spot to do this is at the Rowan Hotel, which is right in the heart of town by the Art Museum. The Rowan has a great pool deck where you can look out at the valley, but spoiler alert, much of the view is hidden behind windows that are very reflective. A good clean shot is directly across from the pool where you can place your camera on the ledge as you have a drink. More on this in our photo tip section in a minute. And back to modernism. On any given day, it's going to be hard to have the owners of the mid-century homes invite you in for a shot of their amazing swimming pools, but I can get you in free for a shot by visiting some of the great old hotel pools in town. There's the Ace Hotel, of course, the Serraro, and the old Riviera, which is now called Margaritaville. Because in Palm Springs, there's nothing like an amazing pool. Picture by any swimming pool. I think, you know, I, I feel a little ha David Hockney sometimes. You can get some great, great images of pools and water and the ripples in water that are very cool. What does the swimming pool represent beyond a respite from the heat? How about, quote, wealth, consumerism, physical beauty, and the triumph of people over nature? That's how a recent exhibit at the Palm Springs Museum celebrating local pools put it. You know, people come out to Palm, why do people come to Palm Springs? Well, really for the sun, it's a little hazy today, but people come for the sun and the pools. I mean, activity around hotels in Palm Springs happens around swimming pools. And you can see today, even though it's probably 110 degrees, people are still out enjoying this poolside vibe. And this happens all year round. I mean, I think we're one of the few places in the country, with the exception maybe of Florida and Hawaii, where people come to enjoy the sun 365 days a year. We probably, I think the Visitors Bureau would say that we have 360 days of sunshine. And being a resident, I think that's true. All right, now let's head back to the desert in my favorite photo spot in town, the Windmills of Palm Springs. I found the spot courtesy of our friend Brianna back when we saw her at the Ace. Did you uh, get the parking lot spot that I sent yes. you? Yes. Yeah, I like that's my little secret is if you go back into the parking lot, then you can kind of hang out there and uh, not risk getting hit by a car. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. You'll find the spot on North Indian Canyon Drive as you head out of town towards the 10 freeway. And as Brianna says, it's a safe spot to photograph the windmills with without having to pull over on the highway, something I've done many times. 
There's a little Amtrak waiting station with a parking lot. So once you pull over and park, walk over the fence, you will not be alone. There will be many others out there getting their quintessential windmill shots. Now let's talk photo tips and photo spots. Of course, we discussed where to get the best shots of the windmills right off North Indian on the other side of the town by the Amtrak waiting station. Once there, I like shooting wide and seeing multiple windmills in action. Close-ups are okay, but they don't really cut it for me. I prefer a medium close-up because I like to see multiple windmills. Now they look best with a little color behind them, so sunsets are great. Selfie alert, you can't beat the Palm Springs sign by the drive to the aerial tramway. It's also a cool reminder here of the origin of the land. I mean, you go up 8,000 feet um, in 10 minutes, largest rotating tram in the world. And if it's a little warm down below, you can go up there, it's about 30 degrees cooler and lots of hiking, miles of hiking up top. Swimming pools for a great pool shot. I really like early morning for seeing the sun glistening in the water or twilight for the reflections. Midday is best for seeing that bright blue really come alive. Palm trees are everywhere, but you've got some obstacles, namely power lines and other distractions. Also remember that because the palm tree is so huge, it's gonna stick out of your shot probably with the leaves on top, which is not a pleasing look. Remember that our friend Brianna says she always shoots portraits with trees in the background as verticals so she can fit in the entire tree. You're also going to need to tilt your phone several ways to make sure you get to the top of the tree. To capture the mass of the palm tree, I like going wide and shooting up into the sky. The classic dinosaur tour shot is off Route 10 in the little town of Cabazon. I like getting close, but again, preferable for me is going wide and seeing both dinosaurs at the same time. For time lapse, you just can't beat the rooftop lounge at the Rowan Hotel. Be sure to get your shot on the other side of the lounge so you won't have to shoot through the reflective windows. Now remember that making time lapses is really easy, especially if you have a smartphone like an iPhone or a Galaxy or a GoPro. You just go to time lapse mode on your phone or GoPro and let it record for a long time. This shot was taken over three hours to get 20 seconds of footage. Remember that the tripod is mandatory because there's no way you could hold the camera steady for a minute, let alone an hour. I love watching the photo feed from my friend Joyce who subscribes to my first and most important tip for taking great smartphone photos. Timing is everything, i.e. early mornings and twilight hour when the colors are at their richest. I mean, the color is amazing and it takes my breath away. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I think, oh, it's just another sunrise, you know, but I go out and look and I'm like, oh, I just have to take a photo. I have to run back in and get my phone, you know, or driving down the road and pull over because I need to have a shot of it. It's so amazing. I think, you know, it makes everyone feel like you can be a photographer because of freedom of being able to delete photos when you need to and still have room. And I don't know, there's not a photo I don't want to take. I love just taking pictures, food, people, wherever I go. I think a lot of people go, we know what you've been doing because we've seen your Facebook or your Instagram. Um, but that's okay because it's my own journal. Thanks, Joyce. And now on to the finale, a photo tour of the remote desert and the San Andreas Fault. All right, we're gonna close off our Palm Springs photo walk with a little desert adventure tour, a red Jeep tour with my newfound friend, Phil. Phil, what exactly are we gonna be doing today? Well, basically we're going on the San Andreas Fault. All right, I'm gonna explain tectonic plates. We're gonna go right in the middle of it. You're really gonna see what's happening. We've gotta keep our fingers crossed we don't have an earthquake today. Yeah, great photos? Terrific photos, great hiking. It's a fantastic morning. We're really going to enjoy ourselves. All right, well, let's jump in the car and uh, show me what you got. The fault is where two of the Earth's plates meet. However, you're not going to see it as it's invisible. But what it does produce is some great rock formations and a terrific backdrop for photos. All right, off we go. 
So we're in the Coachella Valley, Palm Springs area. We're basically going to the San Andreas Fault. And the San Andreas Fault in this area is right where the North American tectonic plate touches the Pacific tectonic plate. We're going, we're going in Horseshoe Canyon. It's a sampling of the crack in the, in the soil that was enlarged by wind and water over years. We can walk right in. We can touch both sides of the walls. It's just a really exciting thing. It's like our little Mount Rushmore in the, in the desert. This is what Palm Springs used to look like, right? Once upon a time. Once upon a time, Palm Springs itself was just level land. Yeah. But if you see the, the mountains over there, the uh, uh, San Jacinto Mountains, they were always right there. Yeah. So Palm Springs was just as low level. Uh, the Indians came in the 1800s. The uh, non-natives came, the movie stars and that, in the 20s and 30s and 40s. Palm Springs was the place to be. As late as the 60s when Sinatra and all those guys came, right. it was just one swing in town. So I want you to see this. See the lines here? All over there, that's called sedimentary conglomerate. At one time, each of those lines was the surface of the earth. And then as it piled up, piled up, we're like in the bowels of the earth. This all lifted up over the years with tectonic plate movement. So this was all carved out by Mother Nature. This is a great place. We bring the people in here. They can take a picture. They're holding both sides of the walls here. Oh, look how casual. Green box. Green box. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Oh my God, I felt it move. Do you feel yeah. it, Tron? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Not today. All right, we just hiked up in one of the canyons in the San Andreas Fault Zone. All right, an example of what happens is the movement of the tectonic plates and then Mother Nature coming in with wind and water carving it away. So nice, narrow little hike. But you'll notice how I can just peel it away. You know, I mean, it's, it's there, but you can also see the lines here called sedimentary conglomerate. This is what took place in the earth. This is like being in the bowels of the earth here. This all came up over a million and a half years ago. Slowly came up. You can sign up for the tour by going to red-jeep.com. Thanks a lot, Phil. That was a lot of fun. And that's a wrap for our photo walk from Palm Springs in the greater Palm Springs area. I'd love to hear from you. Do you have any questions? Please hit me up on Twitter or Instagram where I'm at Jefferson Graham for complete mapping information of this episode and others. Check out our website, thebestphotowalk.com. And please stay tuned for more episodes. I'll see you on the next photo walk. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.